Welcome to my world. Today I'm going to take you through a typical day in life of what it's like to get a stem cell transplant. Day five in purgatory and things are ticking away quite nicely. Now energy levels were an all time high coming in here. I got a physiotherapist who gave me a bunch of exercises to do and I thought right this is it. Gonna stay fit, gonna get healthy. In fact, I don't even need to say it. Here's a montage. Suffice to say that lasted one day. Following that we had to start the chemotherapy regime. A lot of you are going to be like, Paolo, Paolo, Pabs, my boy. You don't look like you've been hammered by chemo for like three or four days straight. And first of all, thank you for that. I appreciate that very much. But also, six days I've been in here now. Um started the Thiotipa, which in itself is not the worst chemotherapy, but it gets excreted through your skin. So you need to shower three times a day, wash your bedding three times a day. That was a bit of a pain in the arse. And now I've been given basulfan and something else, which both absolutely suck. My taste buds have just gone. Nothing tastes good. Everything tastes metallic and just bleh. Oh yeah, this feeling, this nauseous feeling in my stomach. It's not even the worst bit yet and I find myself sleeping as much as possible. Because at least when I'm asleep, mm. I'm not involved in mm. this. I don't have to be awake in this room. It's not very fun. On well, the positive side, because there always has to be a positive side, as this progresses I will feel more and more tired and therefore I will sleep more and more, which is... Excuse me, which is great. Oh, man. The most food I can keep down at the moment is in pill form. And it is hell of pills to swallow in one go. The nausea crashes over me like a wave followed by those prickly shivers that you get that run down your back and down your arms that you get little goosebumps and it's Ugh. Oh, oh, I don't like that. That's the worst part of this. Oh, the worst bit. Chicken nuggets and chips and beans. And it's still horrid. Oh, this is crap as well because I love food. Fish. You want to come down with me? Yeah, I'll come with you and I'll go come up here. With this conditioning process that I'm currently getting, the preconditioning is not the worst bit. Because I've got haplo cells from a little brother, so only half of his cells match mine. The worst bit is going to come when his cells go inside me. Meanwhile. Let's go get thumbs up. And um his T cells are going to proliferate significantly uh, and cause real trouble inside my body. Now, the way that they counteract this is with cyclophosphamide. So they need to wait for these foreign T cells, so to speak, to invade into my bloodstream before they can then start slicing them away with cyclophosphamide. But apparently that bit is the most uncomfortable. So. 
currently we're still in the early sort of laddie da stages. I shall make another post when something interesting happens. Until then, I play a wee tune in my bagpipes since quite a few of you thought that that would be nice. So bear with me. Yeah, that's how we look at this. This is the devil in the kitchen. No, no, that's a way too depressing matter to end one of my videos, so the fact of the matter is this is tough, but I knew it was going to be tough, it's probably going to get tougher, but it's going to be fine, ultimately a little bit of this pain means that I'm going to live a full life and be happy and grow old, which is worth a year or more, never mind just a couple of months in the one room. To finish off this episode, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you for giving me yourselves. I literally would not be able to survive without them. And I will never be able to repay that back. I want to say thank you to my mum and dad, to my family, to my girlfriend, to my friends, to everyone that's been there with me through this whole journey. And I guess finally I want to say thank you to you. I've now hit a thousand subscribers, which was a massive target for me at the beginning of this journey. It really made me over the moon to achieve that. So thank you very much. If there's any questions that you have or if there's any content in particular that you want covered, then please just let me know in the comments. And I guess until next time, thanks for watching.